I'm going to tell you what a mummified body smells like. When we go to museums, we normally only use our eyes. We're asked not to touch, not to smell, just to see the collection and heritage. But this is not how we engage with the world. We use all our senses. I was recently part of a group of researchers invited by the Egyptian Museum in Cairo to smell nine mummified bodies. We were quite surprised to discover that they still smell quite pleasant. We took a quantity of air from inside the sarcophagus and then we took that air into the laboratory and we used analytical chemistry techniques and ended up with a sort of recipe for the smell of mummified bodies. The words we used to describe them were woody and floral and sweet. Some of these smells came from the embalming materials the ancient Egyptians used to prepare the bodies because they believed that they had to smell good in order to go into the afterlife. Investigating the past with our nose, we bring back this important part of the identity of our heritage. In that sense, smells can be a gateway to telling our story, personal and collective stories. And this is why they play an important role in understanding our past and in thinking about what we want to leave for future generations.